Hey everybody, Kyle Gothier from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel. I've got another unboxing for you guys. This one is specific to uh, a Criterion set that I've had for a little bit. Uh, one of the newer ones, and I'm opening it up because uh, for my other show, Kyle and Nick on Film, for the Patreon, we are watching a, uh, or I'm watching a movie from this set that I've been meaning to for a long time. So, this is three films by Luis Buñuel. I don't know, I'm probably butchering that, say what you will about it, but it has three films. It has The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, The Phantom of Liberty, and That Obscure Object of Desire. Let's go ahead and open it up, and we'll see what's inside. All right, so here we have three films by Louis Buñuel. We're going to unwrap that here real quick. How's everyone doing today? Good, good. All right, so that is what our set looks like. Pretty standard. Um, if we look around at the back here, I'll just... More than four decades after he took a razor blade to an eyeball and shocked the world with Unchien Andalou, arch -icon iconoclast Luis Buñuel capped his astonishing career with three final provocations, the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie, the phantom of liberty, and that obscure object of desire in which his renegade free associating surrealism reached its audacious, self-detonating endgame. Um, yeah, I hear these are all pretty good takedowns of the system, if you will. If we look over on the side, we've got the cardboard sleeve thing again here. And as you can see, uh, all three of Buñuel's films have already been on the Criterion Collection for a while. Uh, the first one is Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie is actually Spine 102. Phantom Liberty was 290, and then Obscure Object of Desire was 143. This set's a fairly recent set, so it's purely just combining three of them. My guess is they're just carryovers from the previous um, single releases of the films, but now available as a box set. So, as you can see here as well, I'll point out here the the side right here so it gives you the list of all three movies on the the spine pretty nice to look at there is no spine number for the box set itself though okay all right let's look at you got the three films separated right there let's get the first one here discreet charm of the bourgeoisie as we said before this is 102 this is also where the lookbook is um with our information about it this contains some credits um a background piece on all three films. The first one is called More and Less. It's for The Discreet Charm by Adrian Martin. There's one called The Serpentine Movements of Chance by Gary Indiana for The Phantom of Liberty. And there's one called Desire Denuded by Adrian Martin, again, for The Obscure Object of Desire. It also has some interviews with uh, Louis Buñuel and some pretty colorful stuff, some background. There's some images on the making of the films. Uh, pretty standard stuff, though. Uh, nice to have these lookbooks, though. Um, and that, that fits right inside this first one. So, yeah. Cool looking book. But, yeah, there you have the disc. Uh, background pieces right there. Let's take a look at the disc here. Is there anything behind it? No, nope, pretty standard background. Um, I think the pastel is a, a very specific choice. So the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie. On the back, we have in Luis Buñuel's deliciously satiric masterpiece, an upper middle class sextet sits down to a dinner that is continually delayed their attempts to eat thwarted by vaudevilleing events, both actual and inspired, including you know, terrorist attacks, military maneuvers, and ghostly apparitions. So absurdist set, set pieces definitely are there. Um, so this is a new high definition digital restoration with uncompressed monorail soundtrack. It also has a, the Castaway of Providence Street, a 1971 homage to Luis Buñuel, made by his longtime friends and fellow filmmakers. Um, speaking of Buñuel, a t documentary from 2000 on his life and work. Once Upon a Time, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, a 2011 television program about the making of the film, an episode of the French television program Pour le Cinéma uh, from 1972 that features behind-the-scenes footage and interviews with a number of people. There's also a trailer and a new subtitle translation. So this film is from 1972. It is a color film and it is 101 minutes um, in French with English subtitles. So we'll pop that book back inside there. All right, up next, the second one uh, film in the list, uh, The Phantom of Liberty from 1974. If we look inside again, yes, we've got green pastel this time. Pretty standard cover like the other one. It's not too flashy, but I think that's kind of the point. Um, Luis Buñuel's vision of the inherent absurdity of human social rituals reaches its taboo annihilating extreme in what may be his most morally subversive and formally audacious work, zigzagging across time and space from the Neo Napoleonic era to the present day. Phantom of Liberty unfolds as a picaresque, its characters traveling between tableau in a series of 
data non sequiturs, unbound by the laws of narrative logic, Manuel uh, lets his surrealist id run riot in an exuberant revolt against bourgeois rationality. So this has a new uh, digital restoration, an interview from 2000 with the screenwriter, analysis of the film from 2017 from Peter William Evans, an episode of the series Pour le Cinema from 1974, episode of the French television series uh, Le Dernier de Cinque uh, from 1974, documentary from 1985 about the producer Serge Silberman who worked on five of the director's final seven films and a trailer. This is 103 minutes from 1974. It is in color and it is French with English subtitles. So, all right. And finally, we're looking at that obscure object of desire. Um, 1977, can we open it up? It's got pink pastel this time and there is our disc cover. So we see that right there, standard stuff. Luis Buñuel's final film brings full circle the director's lifelong preoccupation with the darker side of desire. Regular Fernando Rey plays Matthew, a urban widower tortured by his lust for the elusive Conchita. With subversive flair, he uses two different actors in the later role, uh, Carol Bouquet, a sophisticated French beauty, and Angela Molina, a Spanish coquette. Drawn from the surrealist favorite Pierre Louis' classic erotic novel La Femme et la Pantine, or The Woman and the Puppet from 1898, that obscure object of desire is a dizzying game of sexual politics punctuated by a terror that harks back to his avant-garde beginnings. This is a new uh, digital restoration. Interview from 2000 with the screenwriter. Lady Doubles, a 2017 documentary featuring actors Carol Bouquet and Angela Molina, who share the role of Conchita. Portrait of an Impatient Filmmaker, a 2012 documentary featuring director of photography Edmund Richard and assistant director Pierre Larry. Uh, excerpt from Jacques de Baroncelli's 1929 silent film, an adaptation of the novel of the same name, on which Object of Desire is based. Episode of the Belgian television program Le Monde du Cinema from 1977, featuring Carrier, uh, actor Fernando Rey and producer Serge Silberman. Conversation from 1977 among many of Buñuel's Collaborators, including Carrier, Ray, and actors Julian Berthou, uh, Mooney, and Michelle Piccoli. And a new uh, English dub soundtrack and a trailer. So this is 104 minutes, about the same running time from 1977. It is in color and it is French with English subtitles. So those are our three films. Again, we have The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, The Phantom of Liberty, and That Obscure Object of Desire. Uh, I'm really excited to break into this set because uh, these films seem kind of like right up my alley. Um, I'm not a giant fan of Wunshi and Andalou, but it's also just one of those films. I, I think it's well made, but it's just, it's, it's, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And there you have it, three films by Luis Buñuel. So there you have it, everybody. That was three films by Luis Buñuel. Uh, a nice little trilogy pack from Criterion. I opened them up. You got a chance to see the discs, everything inside, and decide for yourself if it's, if it's something that you would like. Have you seen any of the films on the list? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what I should be expecting. Um, uh, and, and let me know if you would if you have owned this set or you would consider purchasing it based on um, the unboxing that we just did or if it's something that's not your speed. I'd love to interact with you guys. One of my favorite things to do on this channel is to interact with the readers and the viewers that we have over on the website and here. So. You know, don't be afraid to voice your opinion. I love it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, you can check out all my written reviews over at GoatFilmReviews.com. You can find Goat Film Reviews on Facebook. You can follow me. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Almighty Goat Man. You can also check out my other show, Kyle and Nick on Film, that I co-host with Nick Palachuk from the St. Paul Filmcast. That link is down in the description, but we have new episodes every single week. So go ahead and check all those links, and we'll see you next time.